Hi, this is Debbie Dashinger from Dare to Dream Radio, TV, and Books, also MediaMastery.com and MyBestsellerBook.com. Wow. So I'm going to ask you a question, and it's kind of serious, and I mean it from my heart. I know I love to joke, and maybe I'll joke somewhere in here, but I'm really asking a serious question. Why? because I'm asking myself this question. In fact, I'm journaling about this right now, so I'm gonna ask you to take a heartfelt look inside and just keep this real between us, right? So that's safe. What are you a slave to? What are you a slave to? Keeping it real, right? Is it food? Are you over? Maybe you're under eating, overeating. Do you think about food all the time? Your body, your weight, <sighs> to exhaustion. The fact that it keeps cycling over and over and over again and actually never gets resolved in your life. Maybe you lose weight, gain weight, go right back, craving. What else are you a slave to? Or what are you a slave to? Fear, worry, anxiety? Does it predicate your life or run it and your thoughts? Are you a slave to overspending? I'm asking you these questions because you can fill in the blank. Maybe none of what I just said as an example even fits for you. And maybe it's something so different, but so real for you and such a repetitive, painful experience that again, doesn't get resolved because you are in bondage. Cigarettes, alcohol, relationships, sex, gambling, money. What is it? Here's what I know what I'm really exploring right now. Slavery. I mean slavery. Think about what we think about slavery some of the horrific things we have done to other people on this planet, right? Cultures of people, horrific, unthinkable. And we do it to ourselves with things outside of ourselves that we claim to have no power over. And maybe we're not even claiming it, but we're living it. We're not able to get out from under. And God, we go back into our head and we think, Maybe I need to try this. Maybe I need to try that. Maybe that'll get me out. We try something else, but the same bloody thing happens over and over and over again. Discouraging, disappointing, disillusioning. Ugh. And then we come up with thoughts about who and what we are because we can't stop being a slave to this craving that when it comes on, takes over and causes us to do the very thing we swore we weren't gonna do anymore, right? So I really, I really don't want you to feel bad. In fact, it makes me wanna cry a little bit because we all, I believe, have something, something, you fill in the blank that makes us do this. It makes me wanna cry because not only do we hurt ourselves with this thing, that we can't stop craving and doing, but after hurting ourselves, we then hurt ourselves and say terrible things about who we think we must be because we can't stop doing this thing. So I know I'm ready to stop being a slave. And the only way I know to get out is through. Acceptance is the answer to all my problems for today. So I accept that in my life I have this in certain areas. And so what I'm doing is journaling. And I'm gonna ask you, if you're willing to join me, will you start journaling about the slavery you're experiencing and just write it out? The pain, the behavior, the, the what causes it, what it feels like, what it feels like after, what the items are, what's calling to you, and then there's something underneath this detrimental behavior. Because what's really interesting, and here I am, right? I teach dreams. I teach creating dreams. And what I'm really finding and unearthing is these cravings 
actually are stopping the biggest dreams I have. Because if I'm busy overspending over here, I don't have the money for world travel, which I say I wanna do. If I'm busy overspending over here, gosh, I can't take that course. Now, it's a blind spot because I don't see that. All I see is I can't do this. It's a blind spot because I'm not realizing that every little penny that's going over here is dwindling away the possibility of what really should be going there because that's where my heart is. This other stuff, it's piddly. It's not important, not life-changing, not at all. It's very painful. It's very detrimental. And I am deeply grateful to be enlightened right now and feeling a lot of illumination about this. And so I'm talking to you about it because rather than continuing a lifelong cycle and never getting out from under, God knows I'm not gonna end my life this way. <laughs> I'm not. So, what's contrary? With journaling, what else is contrary? So it happens, the craving comes up, and what else is possible? I'll give you some options. I said journaling, do it, done. Second, set up a special bank account. 10% goes to it no matter what. That's on top of other 10, 20% I have already going somewhere, but already I can put money somewhere, and that is specifically for really creating my big dreams. Craving comes up, boom. What else? I can speak, speak out loud no matter where I am. I can go somewhere private and just start speaking. I'm not alone, the universe is always there. My highest self is always there, my soul is there. Four, I can make a video that nobody sees. I can grab my phone and just start speaking my pain and the solution and anything else that comes up, but just keep it real. Five, you can talk to God, just saying. <laughs> What else? If you know any healing work, you could access that right away. Just do some energy clearings, anything that, that is there for you. And next you could hold on. You could say, what would happen if I just didn't give in to this craving? What would happen if I just breathed through this? Just an experiment. I don't have to do this for the rest of my life, but just once, just this once, I'm gonna breathe. And just sit with, what does it feel like to feel this overwhelming have to, need to, right now? Fill in the blank for whatever it is for you. And if instead I just be with this, a craving ain't a dream. A craving ain't the real thing. A craving ain't gonna get us, any of us, where we really wanna be and do. So I love you. It's Debbie Dashinger, D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com. And if you're ready, to really move forward in your life this year. And boy, we're being called to move forward. What are you a slave to? What are you in total bondage to? And if you're ready to get out, do the writing, do the admitting, do everything it takes to take contrary action. On the other side is your dream come true. Freedom, freedom.